YouTube, 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 Rivian stock absolutely explodes. Now, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. So, Rivian today closed up 8.63%. And then the after hours, you can see it's up an additional 30%. So, I remember when we were under $9 per share, under $10, under $11. Now, we're back up to $15 per share. Now, the question is, will this sustain overnight? What will the price be tomorrow morning? Will it keep going up? Will it consolidate or will it come back down to about the $12 per share mark? It all remains to be seen. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and see what's going on today. So we can see that the shares uh, jumped today after one Wall Street analyst began coverage and reinforced some positive projections from the electric vehicle maker. Now, Rivian's management has previously said it expects to achieve positive gross profit in the fourth quarter. OK, so when investors have reached the new analyst coverage positively, uh, Rivian shares popping up higher uh, than 7 percent, which we saw it, went, it was actually over 8 percent and now up an additional 30 percent. OK, so now the question is, should you buy uh, Rivian ahead of its investor day? So the company is, is holding its 2024 Investor Day later this week. Now, ahead of that meeting, um, the analysts uh, initiated coverage on Rivian with a buy rating and $18 price target. So that would represent a 63% gain from, Monday, from Monday's closing share price. Now, this analyst also said uh, he sees a credible path for Rivian to reach his goal for break even profit margin in the fourth quarter. He believes that in, and improving profitability from there will be a catalyst for the stock. So for those of you that don't know, um, the, the, the earnings have been negative for Rivian. And so the stock gets its, its, its way uh, to breaking even, then the next step would be obviously to be in profit. So. From this perspective, um, you know, Rivian is a high play right now. And this is why I've been talking about this stock this year, because it's highly, highly undervalued. Now, in particular, I know we haven't been happy with the way they've, they've done some things, but you guys have to remember, they have been doing some pretty nice partnerships and Amazon is also included in that. Now, Rivian doesn't expect to increase production volume in 2024 versus last year, but that's partly because it is retooling its factory to prepare for its next generation R2 uh, vehicle platform. Now, sales of its R2 pickup truck and SUV models are expected to begin in 2026 and will be critical for the company to become consistently profitable. Now, along with that, They've got the R3 coming out, I believe, in 2026 and, and other models coming out in the future. So, you know, Rivian has got a lot going on and, uh, you know, it, it's still a good time to, to dollar cost averaging on this thing, in my opinion, uh, knowing that the all time highs are over a hundred dollars per share. I know that when this thing really starts being positive, and starts making some good money, it is gonna be on from here, okay? Now, overall, uh, what do you guys think about Rivian? Do you think now is a good time to buy? Do you think we're gonna revisit some of the previous levels we've seen, like your $12 per share, $11 per share, under $10? What do you guys think uh, in a shorter term or even for the rest of the year, all right? Let me know what your thoughts are. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we're out, guys. Peace.